We are, as I mentioned, Brian and Megan Yankee. We met while working together at the Slippery Noodle Inn in downtown Indianapolis. For those of you who might not know, that is the oldest continuously operational bar in Indiana. Um, so on top of just being employed there, Brian's family has owned or did own the business for 60 years. So he really grew up there. He's very familiar with what it takes to run a bar, restaurant, music venue, and also what uh, goes into maintaining an old historic building. I worked there for quite a while. I then pivoted my career into meetings and events with American Express Global Business Travel, which is what I'm doing currently today. So with that, uh, we decided that we wanted to undertake our own small business and we are under contract. I don't think I can advance my own slides or the next slide. Um, we have a contract to purchase the Grafton Peak building and set to close October 5th, if, if everything uh, goes well, but we have secured a small business loan for that and plan to move forward. So really what we're focusing on today and what we're hoping to get a liquor license for would be that second floor event space. As I'm sure you all know, it's just such a beautiful, unique and historic space. We're hoping to really drive business to, to that. It's largely underutilized right now. So looking to increase business uh, there, but keeping it as the basic footprint that it is now. We will, um, if you wanna go ahead and advance slides, will of course, as it is now, host all types of private events for people to be able to rent that out. We are planning to offer, of course, in-house beverage services with those. Uh, also, next slide, if you would. We're hoping to host some public events as well. Really look at, we had some ticketed events, looking to bring people into this space, hosting different workshops, partnering with artists, makers, and floral arranging, jewelry making, also, you know, maybe some classes and things like that, partner to try to get people in, really also working with the community, taking part in block parties, pride, holiday festivals, networking, those kind of things, uh, really, really looking forward to being part of the community. We're also hoping uh, probably monthly to do some sip and shop markets, focusing maybe on Saturday evenings bringing in artists, makers, a handful of them into our space, also perhaps providing some entertainment, allowing people to come into that space, uh, have something you know out of the norm exciting to do uh, that is also family oriented. Next slide, perfect. We really wanna focus on local. We wanna partner with, you know, we've got three awesome breweries right downtown. We've got some wineries close by. We really want to push using local as far as beverage is concerned whenever we can for both the private and the public events. We are not currently planning on offering any in-house catering, but we're, of course we'll partner with local caterers for any food needs. And then also as far as local, using a lot of local talent, as I already mentioned for, you know, some of the workshops, you know, things of that nature, our markets bringing in, you know, different people, allowing them to use this space, showcasing their talents. The next slide. As far as the number and nature of jobs, of course, in an event space that's going to ebb and flow, it's going to depend on the size and quantity of events that we can get in. We're anticipating probably starting with about five contracted per event uh, people to come assist as far as bartending, floor staff, people to help with load in and load out in the space. And of course, uh, Brian and I uh, will be part of that staff as well. Next slide. And then owner control and participation, we're really going to be hands-on. We're going to be operating the day-to-day, -day, doing all the bookings, running the events. For the most part, we'll serve as event staff as well. So we'll really have primary control of what goes on there. Benefits to Greenwood, of course, we're hoping to increase foot traffic, really drawing people to that building. It's you know so beautiful, really hoping to, to fill up that space. As mentioned, some of the cultural things that we're trying to offer, workshops, art, things like that, that are bringing in some, some different offerings to people, as well as the entertainment that comes along with that. And then uh, beautification, if you could go to the next slide. Brian and I met with Kevin and Chuck, talked about the building exterior. We definitely are interested in partnering in the city and their architects. You know, he had mentioned it as one of the few buildings that downtown that did not get a facelift with the, the facade beautification downtown. So we would really hope to work with them to make improvements on the exterior. 
As far as interior, it's in pretty good shape. We're not looking to do too much to that. Some, some slight things, some paint to the walls, as you can see on the balcony, um, a little bit of dated carpet, updating some, some flooring there, updating the bathrooms a bit. Um, and our hope, if permitted, it would be to expand the bar area just a little bit there to allow for uh, beverage coolers, as well as uh, we're under the assumption that they're using all plastic where we would like to be able to elevate that space a little bit and be able to use glassware in that space. And really that's all we had to present. Thank you, and are there any questions? Questions? You mentioned ownership, just so I'm clear. You guys own the building? We will, yes. You will own the building. So who is it owned by right now, just out of curiosity? It, Jason Woods. Okay, gotcha. So this will involve the sell of the building and then your your improvement there. Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. Got it. Okay. Thanks. I believe they said they had a closing date of October 5th. Is Correct. Yes. Okay. They closed on October 5th. Yeah. Sorry if I missed it. Just a while. Assuming everything is approved. <laughs> Uh, as you're requesting, when do you think you will start operation? Uh, in the event space right away, the current owner does have events booked out through the end of the year, and then we would hope to try to build upon those events pretty immediately. Of course, it does take time to get people to rent the space and all that, but it's pretty, pretty turnkey. And parking for this? We do not have any parking. We would utilize the city's parking. All right. With regard to a river front uh, application, the commission has the duty to review the application, determine whether the proposed project will provide an economic benefit to the river front district, and recommend whether the project site should be considered eligible to be a permit premises in accordance with, accordance with that whole statute. Any motion to approve the application should also recommend that the project site be considered eligible to be a permit premises in accordance with IC 7.1-3-20-16B and direct mayor to communicate the approved recommendation to the Alcohol Beverage Commission. Is there a motion to that effect? So moved. I'll second. I'll second. I'll second. I'll second. Point of uh, discussion. The only thing I, I just want to make sure we're, we're doing this right. So the, so the creek that is, that is part of the park is there a certain distance that has to be between the business establishment and the creek itself? Yes. It has to be within the Riverfront District and above the whole map of the district, and it's pretty large. And I just need to show you that's the intersection of Madison and Main Street. Their location would be right. just right okay. in the middle of the district, basically. Okay. Thank you. Just a, just a, just for my own clarification, um, it seems like this location has come up I feel prior like, I feel like for, a, for a different yeah, establishment yeah. or different <laughs> purpose, um, and I think it was for Riverfront, if my memory serves me. And so it's it's with the ownership of the building, this application, rather than the site itself. Is that right? Correct. I think okay. it's, it's personal to the applicant. So when it when it changes hands, it requires a new application for. Okay. Jason West also has a catering license that he can use to serve alcohol at lots of different places that they don't have. I'm guessing you're not the catering. Business. Correct. Not yes. Yes. Because you'll be partnering with a local caterer. Yeah. Correct. And not a local business, but you'd like to do the beverage service in. That's correct, yes. And according to my records, and you're remembering quite well, back in 2019, there was an application related to Craft Week. Is that before COVID? Yep. yep. It's where my wedding reception was, so I, it's a point of interest. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So you're conflicted then. Yeah. <laughs> Tear the whole building down? Or... <laughs> 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 All right. Any further comments or questions? All, right. All those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Any abstentions? Motion approved by the
Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Old business capital project report Freedom Park Pickleball com Complex. All right, it's the Brent Street of the Northern Robles Boys Unit that have family issues, so I'm stepping in for Mr. Taggart. Um, if you remember, we, we came before you uh, last month uh, to talk about. Oh, look at that. The man dials in. You didn't even know it was happening. Wow, that's impressive. He just popped up there. Just Dedication. A little scared. Um, for a, uh, a pickleball complex at Freedom Park that would be scaled substantially, in this case, 16 courts that can host tournaments uh, and serve as kind of the hub of greater Johnson County um, for uh, pickleball. This would leverage the fact that all the utilities were already at Freedom Park in a big way because of the pool. Another successful year, Mr. Hopper, I know it's one of your one, yep. of your, one of your original <laughs> themes, uh, but that's Rob's family. Uh, and um, it would also play off all that that parking, which, uh, you know, is great during pool season, but doesn't want to get utilized as much afterwards. Uh, the bids, we had uh, five bids, right, Jimmy? Yes. Five bids that came back uh, within our estimates, which was essentially, we have large ranges of the, just over a million to somewhere within two million. The uh, low bid came in with the a deduct as an alternate at uh, $1,374,757, if I heard that right. And uh, that is case construction. They've done a lot of work, trail work, other work for the city uh, over the years. Um, the parks uh, director, through impact fees and to the park board, is committed to uh, 500,000 of this, uh, which uh, we need an ask of the RDC of 900,000 plus 50,000 for contingency, so 950,000. I went down and met in the finance office with uh, Greg, who's here today, Jared. Um, we have the cash on hand to do this, all tips. Uh, in the city to districts are set up uh, to pay for high quality park amenities going back to uh, being here at Freedom, uh, Freedom Park or Freedom Springs. And I uh, would ask that uh, it be split with the majority coming from the Southwest tip, which as Adam will show you is growing uh, fast and set to continue to grow. And then from, from the other tips as, as all the city will benefit um, from this project. Uh, so, if you have any questions, Rob's here. Uh, Rob, there was a lot of talk about pickleball before. Kevin Hoover may be a convert. He was at the US Open. Maybe he's going to give up on tennis. Uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Mike Campbell was in a meeting with, with Mr. Ron West, I assume, even though they probably were talking about other things. Uh, in my experience, Mr. West always brings up pickleball. So he's in favor of pickleball, of course. Yeah. So, <laughs> any questions after that on um, look, feel, amenities, programming, right? Rob will take um, and Greg on the financing, but the ask would be for $950,000 and to award the contract to uh, Case Construction uh, with $500,000 commitment from the parks uh, and their various funds. Uh, to build 16 pickleball courts uh, and related infrastructure. There's also how many parking spots, Rob? How many parking spots do we have? They're gonna try to unmute. Can you hear me now? Yes. Live from Edinburgh. Uh, we're, we're adding 100, and, I think I'm answering your question. Uh, it's an addition to 120 parking spaces. So, yeah, there's benefits to that beyond just pickleball. Yeah, so the, the, the benefits of the pickleball crowd, uh, maybe going into more detail than you guys care to know. Um, pickleball crowd generally play earlier in the morning. Uh, so when that activity kind of phases out, starts heating up, the pool will actually start to gain um, most of the patron load. So the parking will get monetized, 
uh, more so than and than most because we'll be able to accommodate the pickleball crowd. And then once that gets phased out during the day, uh, then it will get monetized by uh, the uh, the Freedom Springs parking. Kevin, I have a question about on the bid sheets. Um, see what you said you you got the, some alternates. Yes, entirely. What did you got? So uh, Case actually read the uh, specs the way they should have been read, which is that uh, there there's optional other equipment, including some lighting and sight rigs that. Um, would be purchased by a cooperative purchase agreement to make national contracts outside of it. Um, and the alternate was to back those out essentially. So their base bid was actually the one three, whereas uh, the rest of the contractors put down a base bid and then added, if that makes sense, which is why those were all um, additions of the stuff that parks the park pure separately. So the reason that they had the negative one is that their real base bid was minus that those kind of site amenities that we plan to purchase with other funds. Uh, we just wanted to see what the pricing was and they were actually the only one to do it correctly. Thank you. And is the alternate bid number two going to be not included or not? Not included. Does anybody want to make the motion? A motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, aye. Aye. All those opposed, no. Motion approved by zero. 543 South Madison Avenue parking garage, consideration of contract for services with professional concrete cutting and drill LLC. As a uh, positive note for this, there are folks living in one of the buildings of the Madison. We've seen probably drive by their couches and various things. I've yet to see a Detroit Tigers flag or anything there, but I'm sure at some point you die. Um, if the Cubs make a run, we'll see something. Um, so there are people moving in. Uh, this is for the. Uh, so the Tigers fans are good people, I see clearly. That's true. Especially the Cubs are good tonight. <laughs> and if they, if they suffer through being a Lions fan too, they're, they're gone. Uh, although they won the other week, so they went. Um, uh, beat the Chiefs. Uh, so, um, yeah, so people are moving in. Uh, they're getting closer on the big building, which has the garage. So we're getting closer to doing our side of that. We've already approved uh, the money, uh, the contract for the all the gating equipment. This is a small contract for uh, $1,995. Try to get multiple quotes. This is one we got to core in for conduits and electric runs for the camera system uh, that uh, was going to go in the garage. Any questions or comments? Motion to approve. I'll make the motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Bones. Sorry, I heard that first. You want a second, Mr. Campbell? Yeah, I'll second. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Five zero. Next up, consideration of contract for services with Bruce Electric. Yeah, and so the, the deal here is to run all of the uh, electric uh, through the uh, four floors of the uh, parking garage to hit, uh, it outlines them there, but to hit the, the, the pretty large number of, of security camera locations. Uh, and that will be uh, $28,535.16. should should say both of these should be central tip, and this is right in the core of the central tip. Um, essentially, we paid for, the, for our CRG to build the garage, but as far as um, security, uh, security, the uh, administration, the other offices are having a very high uh, standard and value on security, um, and so we are outfitting it with the city's. Uh, Level of that review necessary for that. Motion to return. Second. I'll second. Yeah, everybody wants to get out. I got, I got, we got Mr. Hoover at the second here already. All right. All, right. all those in favor, aye. Aye. All, right. all those opposed, aye. All right. Motion approved by zero. Downtime revitalization for a topographic survey and mapping. Personal Service Bureau, Wesley Engineering. 
Yes, the last one we have is for orchard, uh, the small part of orchard, uh, not the new orchard, which you can actually uh, traverse through now. Um, but um, to uh, begin the process of looking at a streetscape improvement there, uh, driven on orchard, you can see it was just kind of patched by our street department a few years ago. It does not have sidewalks, it does not have any sort of traffic calming. And the survey would be the first step of looking, okay, what do we actually own here? What obstructions are in the right of way? What are the dynamics we would need to consider? Um, and uh, so we got some folks with us working back as well. But uh, short section of road, important section, uh, and uh, is to avoid or avoid currently uh, the pedestrian amenities that you see in other areas in, in Old Town. So no sidewalks. No, no lighting systems. Two thousand seven hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. Right. Okay. Simple sense. Is there a motion? Here, second by Mr. Cohn. All those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion approved by Mr. Cohn. Thank you guys very much. One other update. Uh, probably saw some pictures on Facebook. Maybe the sports park is really come along if you drive by it. Uh, grass is growing in and our fences are going up and uh, it's time for that project. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next up financial report. Financial report and overview of pay twenty twenty four capture of the suspects by allocation. Floor is yours, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening. Uh, it's good to Good to see all. The, as far as the monthly financial report, uh, nothing, nothing specifically to call out there, but happy to take any questions that you may have. Those are updated balances here today. But one item that we did want to cover today was the overview of the 2024 values by area. I believe in your SharePoint packet, you have a copy of those. We um, know not as well. We just talked through some of the high points. These are the certified amounts coming out of the neutralization process with the county. The across all allocation areas for pay 24, the incremental capture assist values are up $96,951,278. Uh, RDC-wide, city-wide is about 14% increase year over year. Uh, to give you a comparison, uh, city-wide, the net assessed values uh, that were certified increased 5%. Uh, so the growth within the allocation areas is almost three to one uh, within the allocation areas. And then when we look more closely, you know, it, there's an interesting story going on. You know, when you look at some of the more mature tip areas, as far as like Eastside, uh, Fry Road, et cetera, they're growing still in single digits, but still higher than the city. So 8% for Eastside, 7% for the Fry Road area is actually Sideboard, good to see that one tick up a little bit for for certain purposes because we made adjustments. Yep. Uh, and then when you look at some of the other allocation areas, uh, Central, Horseville Road, Southwest, uh, et cetera, they have significant double digit year over year uh, growth in assessments. So anywhere from 24%, 33%, 37%, 38% increases year over year. Uh, a couple factors there. One, they're smaller numbers to begin with, right? So they're easier to get big double-digit growth amounts. Um, and then secondly, some of those have large real property abatements that are rolling off that are providing a lot of lift uh, to those to those areas. Uh, and then there's a few cleanups on the base and those types of things specifically for the new areas that were established in 2022. Emerson Point, which is the Hanger Apartments, the Combs Road, Five Points area, and then the kind of reestablishment of the what is now the County Line Road and I 65 allocation area, uh, essentially a reset of the I 65 East area. Uh, so there's a lot here. The last thing I would say is uh, that was notable in our review for, for many years, Fry Road has been really the number two largest allocation area. It is now number four. Um, it was surpassed by the Central and Horseville Road allocation areas, which are both relatively new areas. Uh, 
And then Southwest, as Kevin mentioned, had a really, really good year as well as far as growth. Uh, it grew at 37% year over year and is up to 36 point, rounding $36.7 million in captured AV uh, with no debt outstanding. So uh, good, good growth. The next step in preparation for your October meeting, we'll be taking these amounts and working with uh, Mr. Watson to prepare the TIP appropriations for next year, as well as we were going to have to take a little bit of an estimate, but we'd like to put together a cash flow uh, based on the revenues as that we estimate as well. One of the things we're going to do a little differently last year is when we did the cash flows for this year, we used the pay 23 rates, which in hindsight, with this sort of growth, we have to assume those rates are going to come down a little bit. So we'll adjust that in our cash flows moving forward. Uh, but yeah, that's a quick overview. The combined captured AV uh, for Greenwood Redevelopment Commission, the pay 24 is uh, just over $767 million. And these exclude uh, residential properties, right? That's correct. Yeah. Residential owner occupied. Gotcha. Any other questions for us? Very good. That's all I have. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Please get Kevin's picture. Uh, <laughs> right. there for good, yeah. I think that will be uh, permanently <laughs> on the TV I thought screen. Right there. Try, but... yeah. yeah, I'll text him a picture. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm amused by it. <laughs> Mr. Foster, I think the Corporation Council's office. Not in Corporation Council's office. Mr. Lots of you, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Mr. Wright, anything from you? All right, Mr. St. John, you have a walk-on for us, I guess? I did, yes. Thank you for, for taking this as a walk-on. We've been um, working on the scope with HWC uh, for about a month now, and late last month, kind of thought it was an appropriate place based on the size of the contract in these two readings, so that's why we decided to walk it on tonight. Um, as this commission knows, uh, last spring, you all put the contract with HWC to do a corridor study of Main Street from Meridian, pretty much to, our, well, to the eastern city limits there at Five Points Road. Um, a large portion of that corridor study is complete. We developed some recommendations out of that. The, the first segment we're looking at targeting is just a continuation of our Main Street project. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Billy, can you share the, the podium so the recording will have the... I think it is. Share. Yeah, well, I'll see. Well, no one else might share something, but on the TVs, it's not. Okay. But it is on the same line. It's the Okay. Never mind. Sorry. The visual is not very helpful for the Uh It'd be a continuation of our Main Street project east from Meridian. The segment we'll be looking at doing under this contract would be Meridian Street to uh, Old. Avenue, segments one and two of the corridor study. Um, this would be uh, a contract to do survey, uh, design work, utility coordination, railroad coordination, geotech, uh, right away, uh, phrasing of buying. Um, and they, they've included costs for uh, construction administration, which is the inspection work, uh, and assistance on the bidding, which we've set up to be approved as a separate notice to proceed. So, uh, any questions I'd be happy to take? Just for clarification, the scope of this project, this portion of the project is from east of Meridian to west of Polk, so those intersections of Main and Meridian. Yeah, it, and it reads odd because it says from west of Meridian Street so are the intersections, east of Polk Street, which... Are the intersections included in the study or not? Uh, they were included in the study and they would be included as a roadway project. So that would be west? Uh, is it is it is it is it so it includes the intersection of Meridian and it includes the intersection of Polk. Yeah, Max doesn't show the correct. I can define where I have Thank you. All right, so what do you, what do you need from us today? After this is just the introduction yeah. of those contracts. So I'll be back in a month with the contract for approval. Got it. Any other questions for Mr. St. John? I assume you're done. Sorry, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. And right. again, I have some visuals to kind of see what the um, what the quarter study kind of proposed. And if anyone's interested in that, please reach out to me. Yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you.
appreciate it. All right. Yes, sir. Yep, go ahead. I did just yesterday receive an annual report from PBC, which we commonly know as the Open Barrel Project. And it was due today, so we got it in between time. Their oral report under the agreement will be presented next month. In the last couple of years, we have waived that and delegated authority to the president to make that determination once we've had a chance to review the actual board and so forth. So I would offer you again that opportunity to delegate authority to the president to waive their oral report. Found if the written report is found to be satisfactory. And you'll make that determination in consultation. I'll move that we uh, authorize Mr. Hopper to um, make that assessment and waive the oral presentation by PBC. Second. Motion by Mr. Second by Mr. Harris. So all those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Anything over the mayor's office today? Anybody know? Yes, ma'am. All right. Is there a motion to approve our September claims docket for the amount of $1,577,831.45? Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion approved by zero. Anyone else have any business for us today? Next Wednesday. I'm almost there. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so a reminder, uh, next meeting will be October 17th, so the third Tuesday, I think. October 17th? Yeah. I've got uh, all breaks this week. That would probably be virtual. Understood. All right. Just hearing that some of the other business, we will be adjusting. Thank you.